y'all. Welcome to Alexander Toro. This is going to be your love reading for September 2023 for Scorpio. And for those who have Scorpio anywhere in their natal chart, please check your chart, okay? Cross watchers, you are welcome here. Keep in mind that the roles may be reversed because energy is fluid. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary, but never force it. If this is for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force it, guys, okay? If the reading resonates, please be sure to tap that like button. Um, even if it doesn't resonate and, you know, you, you can see this video at all, you're able to see it, please drop a, a hand-waving emoji in the comments because I feel like my, while I know for sure that my channel is being shadow banned currently um, due to um, a temporary suspension uh, due to copyright infringement, my channel is being shadow banned. What that is, what that means is um, that my videos are not circulating as they normally did. My views have dropped due to the algorithm shadow banning me. Okay, this happened because I was reposting inspirational short videos from other content creators, giving complete credit to the content creators and thought that that was allowed and apparently it's not. Even if, you, even if you give the content creator credit, you can't repost other people's material. And it was just some uplifting inspirational videos I was putting in my, my YouTube shorts to uplift my followers. So um, yeah, so unfortunately that's what I'm going through at this time. <laughs> and it, it should be picking up in October. I just want to know who's still with me, who's still rocking with me, and I'm going to continue to put out these videos. Even if I get a few views, I just feel honored to be here to, you know, give you guys some insight, okay? So we're going to start this reading with the, with the Heart Oracle deck. I'm going to pull some signifiers as to what this reading will entail, okay? For Scorpio. Show me the messages, please, for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to see in love? Show me the overall energy as well of the reading for Scorpio. Okay. All right, guys. If the reading resonates, I'm also offering personal readings. If you are interested, you can click on the link in the description box below. Okay. Let's see what we have here for Scorpio. Collective in love. All right. The overall energy of this reading is find balance, okay? Find balance, all right? And we're going to look and see why. We have <laughs> balance. <laughs> so funny. Balance is being crowned by darkest fears, okay? These are signifiers, all right? So someone's dark, darkest fears... Is crowning the balance in this connection. That is the concern. Okay. I have control here. It's being crowned by spread your wings. Somebody's trying to control the emotions. Okay. Or trying to control someone in this relationship. And spirit is like, no, free yourself from being controlled. Okay. Free yourself from being controlled. Detach and open up. Okay detaching someone's detaching when it's being crowned by opening up spirit is saying to someone in this connection that instead of choosing to detach open up about how you feel don't suppress your emotions don't detach open up all right so we're going to go into the tower to find out some more we're going to find out why someone's the balance in this connection is being crowned by darkest fears okay Let's go into the tarot to find out what's going on here. Show me the messages for Scorpio for 2023. Again, time is fluid. Anytime you press play is the time for you to receive the message, even though this is for September 2023. It can go well into September. Okay. It can happen before then. I, I feel like with a lot of my readings in general, that it happens in threes. <laughs> I've noticed like some sort of pattern from with most of my readings. You know, it can start manifesting within three days, three weeks, within three months, you know, anything. So don't expect instant gratification. 
show me Scorpio's current situation in love, please. What does Scorpio need to see in love? This is really challenging. I feel like there's someone here with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. There's someone here who who's who makes hasty decisions. This is someone that I feel like someone can't count on because they're not reliable. They just they just act on their feelings. Well, they they just they act impulsively, and it always leads to them making some sort of mistake. Okay, that's being crowned by the King of Swords reverse. Someone who who's who's a bit selfish. Okay, um, someone who lacks structure. This is also somebody that you may not be able to trust. I feel like this is your person's energy, but I see there's a desire here because I have um, two kings here. There's a desire for you to feel safe with someone. King of Pentacles, security. <laughs> Someone who's mature, someone who's grounded, someone who makes you feel safe, somebody who's bettering themselves, and they inspire you, okay? Someone who's enterprising financially as well. You could be con connecting um, with the Taurus Virgo, Virgo, Virgo of Capricorn. I'm getting a lot of Earth energies thus far, and I'm also getting Capricorn. Excuse me, I'm getting Gemini. I'm feeling Gemini. Okay, so... What I see here is a will of fortune. The will of fortune is about closing out a cycle. It's a new cycle. It's a faded cycle. It's like good karma can happen if something closes out. Okay? Look at that. The world. Capricorn energy. I just said that before I even saw the card. Um, it's a whole new cycle. It's expanding. It's a new beginning. It's getting to the success in this connection is feeling whole and belonged by the other person. That's your desire. Show me more, please, for Scorpio, please. Your justice. This is Libra energy. I feel like someone had to see the experience, the consequences of their actions here. The justice is about consequences. And I also feel like someone wanted to apologize to their person justice can mean an apology so someone might have apologized to you recently about that you know something that they did and it, whatever that was it had consequences and they tried to apologize to you i get show me more i got the energy of the nine of pentacles there's someone who is very independent someone who feels on their own like i feel like that's your energy i feel like you want your person but you don't need your person but you do want this person and you do want things to work with this person tissue in my hand and this is the person that apologized to you recently okay i'm getting the eight of pentacles it's just some someone's com wanting to work on this connection okay they're feeling confident that you could work on this connection show me the breakdown though what was the breakdown i have the queen of cups here that's your energy. I feel like you you feel really deeply. You love deeply. You genuinely care about this person. You have real emotions and real feelings for this person. But at the same time, someone that you gave and gave to and that you love deeply and you sincerely, you know, you sincerely care about this person and you empathize with their situation. With the five of pentacles, this person left you out in the cold about something. There was a negative change in circumstances between you and this person and you felt left behind or left out neglected i'm also getting financial hardship but it's temporary so with the lovers i feel like your your connection was being put to the test between you and your person okay for some of you you may feel like this is your soulmate but there's this you're being put to the test for whatever the situation was that you know this person fell out in the cold um you felt left in the cold. Show me why the Five of Pentacles is here. Did, what did Libra feel left out in the cold about? Okay. Um, you're connecting with somebody that's very reckless and very arrogant with the Knight of Wands reverse. 
This person promises you a lot but doesn't deliver. This is someone that you have a lot of past memories with. You may even have childhood memories with them. You're putting a lot of time with this person. You're like, I put in so much time with this person. I dedicated to my to this person. This person is very childish. They come off very immature. And then this person made a reckless decision. This person can be very loud, like a show off, very overconfident. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of energy, very animated, um, and they just go hard. They promise all this shit, but they don't deliver it, so they let you down. It's like this person promised you things and they let you down, okay? Their immature actions led to some sort of breakdown here, and you felt neglected by this person. With the moon here, it's like someone given the illusion of something, it's instability, okay? There's instability here. Um... There's, again, an insecurity. Someone's insecure here. There's past condition that affects present behavior. It's like there's a pattern of behavior here that makes you feel the way that you do. There are certain things that you're not aware of. There's things that you haven't even seen yet. There are things that haven't come to the surface yet. And it's causing insecurities. It's causing anxiety. It's causing fear. And I feel like when you try to talk to this person about whatever that is, it, it it's they're vague. With their answers, they might change the subject or... Yeah, this is someone that's not concerned about your feelings. This person is very calculating, very unconcerned about your feelings. And it's just like it takes a lot of patience to deal with them. I feel with the page of swords, pages are energy. I mean, pages are energy. Pages are messengers, okay? There may be some sort of news that you're expecting. Just, just know that it's going to be a little delayed. I get this energy with this person that you're very protective and guarded because of how they hurt you in the past you don't really talk about the feelings as much now you just kind of just go with the flow um show me this person's feelings what is this person's feelings for scorpio well card flipped all the way around show me this person's feelings for you what is what is this person's feelings for scorpio yeah this person knows they devastated you with the five of cups they brought you a lot of sadness here they know that. They have a lot of guilt, a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. This person may have abandonment issues, and I feel like they, you feel like they abandoned you, okay? Again, because with the five of, pent five of pentacles and now with the five of cups. Five, five could be significant to you, May 5th, or someone maybe 55. But, um, or you may be seeing five, five, five. But, um... That this person, you know, some sort of trauma and abandonment issues causes this person to act the way they did. Um, this is someone who focuses on negative emotions. Again, this could be trauma from the past. Okay. Um, this person also lacks balance because of this. And they may tend to make poor decisions, including financial ones. With the Page of Wands reverse, this is someone who can be very impetuous and very insensitive. This is someone that breaks your heart. And with the hidden energy here, the five of swords, this is someone who's self-sabotaging behavior. They don't communicate effectively. I feel like someone feels defeated. This person feels, you know what I feel like, um, Scorpio? I feel like your person feels like when they walked away from you, that it, it it really hurt you. It, you know, it was devastating. And this person is very self-sabotaging. You know what, this person, they just, they're the ones, they feel like they're, they're in defeated energy. Like they can't win for losing. Like they always try, but they, it's, they just act very, you know, um, they're very immature emotionally. And there's these traumas that cause them to act the way they do towards you they they just be doing too much two of pentacles reverse no balance just like acting out but there's a lot of emotional pain here they do feel regretful and remorseful but there is some trauma here and this person continues to focus on negative feelings show me more for this person's feelings for scorpio nine of swords this person is holding on to a lot of stuff emotionally. They have a lot of mental problems. Ancient, um, there's a lot of anxiety here. 
a lot of anguish, guilt, again, regret, remorse. They're focusing on the past. I got two cards here that show me that this person is focusing on negative emotions. And they look at that. In both photos, this person is sad. There's all this anxiety. There's like, they, they, they can't, they, they, they can't stop focusing on the past. There's a deep unhappiness, stress, and burden here because of how they let you down. Look at this. I tell you, I can't lie. The hidden energy at the bottom of the deck is a ten of wands. This is someone that feels burdened. They feel overwhelmed with all like their responsibilities and stress and taking on too much. They feel like they've burdened you. I just got to download a message. They feel that you burden, that they burden you, that you're taking on too much and they take you for granted. That is the energy that I just got here. That is the downloaded message, okay? But they want a new beginning with you in spite of it all. They want things to work, Ace of Wands. And I feel like even now, because they apologized, it's like there's this new beginning here. They want that, okay? This is why balance, you know, it requires balance but is being crowned by the darkest fears. This person has a lot of fears, a lot of stress, a lot of worries because of how they continue to let you down. Show me the um show me Scorpio's feelings. What is Scorpio's feelings for that person? Show me Scorpio's feelings for their person. Show me Scorpio's feelings. This person took you for granted. They neglected you. They made, they have you feeling insecure. You're an empress reverse. Could be connecting with a Libra. You feel like this person just, with like the nine of wands reverse, this is somebody that makes foolish decisions. They're foolishly defensive. They refuse to compromise. Um, this person is emotionally out of control and they're very hurtful when they I feel like with the knight of swords reverse, when you guys get into conflicts, like this person hits below the belt. There is no tact. Anything goes. And this person creates all these insecurities in you, okay? And with the Queen of Wands reversed as the hidden energy, this is someone, who is this? We're gonna pull on this. I feel like this person brings out the worst in you. That's your hidden energy. That is you, the Queen of Wands reversed. I feel like this person makes you feel like, like again, they bring out their wor the worst in you. And that's why I feel like with this control, it's like you're trying to control your emotions. But spirit is like, no, don't don't allow yourself to be in this stuck situation where you're being controlled. Free yourself from that. Spread your wings. Free yourself from feeling stuck and controlled or manipulated. Okay. Show me Scorpio's feelings. Show me more for Scorpio's feelings for this person. You've been through a lot with this person. Yeah, lack of, um, I don't know why I heard lack of enthusiasm. The sun reversed Leo energy. You feel like this person has very unrealistic expectations when it comes to this connection. And you don't feel optimistic about it because of that. You feel like this person has an ego problem. They continue to keep miscarrying the connection. For some of you, with the miscarriage, you might have miscarried from this person. Or you might have had a stillbirth or an abortion because of the stress of dealing with this person. I'm sending you a hug. I, my heart goes out to you if this is you. Some sort of, you know, pregnancy, miscarriage or termination because just going through so much with this person. There's a lot of sadness here that you feel. The Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy. You feel like this person just, does, they lack discipline, they're out of control, they're stubborn. For some of you, this per your person doesn't have um, their father in their life, and you feel like that's the reason why they're the way they are. <sighs> wow. Show me the challenges, please, for Scorpio and their person. What is the challenges for Scorpio and their person? Show me the challenges for Scorpio. Show me one more. I have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Flew out the deck, and the Five of Swords again. Your challenge is, is to feel that your person is committed to, the, that you and this person are committed to this connection, like that, that this is a solid foundation. The Ten of Pentacles reverse is 
a, fund a foundation that isn't solid. It's like non-committal. There's like financial problems here. So the challenge is to feel that you can have a higher level commitment with your person, that your person is committed. Because with the five of swords, this is someone that keeps self-sabotaging the connection. They don't communicate effectively. Very aggressive. Wow, show me, show me advice. What advice do we have for Scorpio? I have the Magician Gemini energy here. The Strength card, Leo energy. Could be connected with the Leo or Gemini. It could be any sign, guys. I'm just telling you what energy is showing up in this reading. Show me more for advice. The Queen of Swords. Okay, the energy that I'm getting here is that you need to overcome any self-doubt you have. Work on your strength. Tap into your inner strength. And manifest what it is that you truly desire for yourself in your life. Okay, this is about the Queen of Swords energy. You being clear about your feelings. Thoughts dominate the feelings. Now's the time for you to stand up, stand up for yourself about your wants and your needs. Because the hidden energy of advice is the two of swords reverse. It's like you've seen the truth. The two of swords upright is stuck energy. But spirit is like you saw the truth. The truth has been exposed. Whatever it was, it was exposed to you. Yet there's still some indecision here. Okay, so that's why spirit wants you to be clear about your wants and needs and to manifest what it is that you want. Be strong and know that you don't have to settle for anything, Scorpio. So for you, what I really feel with these signifiers is that you, know, you want balance with your person that you're with, right? But it's being crowned by your darkest fears, the things that have happened. I feel like your darkest, you already experienced your darkest fears with this person. And it's just like, how could we have, how could things be in balance again? How can we be on the same page after everything that has happened? Okay. And the spirit is like, no, you can't control this situation by sitting in it. You need to take a leap of faith. Manifest what you want and go for it. Manifest what it is you truly want. And that is going to require you to detach. I mean, I'm sorry, it's to stop avoiding. I'm sorry, forgive me. That is going to require you to, to, to open up. Because you are detached. But you need to be open with this person that you're in this relationship with. Okay, that's why I got the Queen of Swords and Advice. Thoughts dominating feelings, being clear about what you, what it is that you want, standing up for yourself. That's what the Queen of Swords is about. Okay? That's where the balance is. The balance is you opening up, being clear about what you want. That'll bring that'll bring you balance. So finding balance is not about finding balance in this connection. It's about finding balance in a, con a connection that you manifested for yourself, the one that you truly desire in the beginning of the reading. Because you really want a king of pentacles, but you're in a connection with the king of... I'm sorry, you really want... Yeah, king of pentacles, but you're in a connection with the knight of pentacles reverse, and that is the problem. Show me more for advice, please. What advice, more advice do you have? Yeah, this is a lack. You're not fulfilled in this connection, if you're being honest with yourself. Okay, um, Scorpio, I have the Nine of Cups reverse. Death reverse, Scorpio energy, You could be that's your energy. There's an inability to move forward, so you're stuck in this repeated cycle that you overgive to. The, the death reverse is also a, a codependency, overgiven at the expense of your own emotional well-being. And you're overgiven to a connection that do doesn't even make you feel fulfilled. It's completely shattered. You were devastated by whatever it was that took place. And it's like you're having nightmares about it. <laughs> See, you want to feel valued. Six of Pentacles. You want to be with somebody that, that shows that they value. Somebody that pours into you the same way you pour into them. So the advice is, is for you to stand up and for yourself. 
It's time to stand up for yourself, okay? Ace of Cups, what you don't know is that you can always have a new beginning, an emotionally new beginning with someone, but it's gonna require you to move forward. You probably don't wanna hear this because you love this person, but this is a Six of Swords. This is about healing. This is about moving forward. Wow. So the, the, new, the Ace of Cups is a new romance, a new love, new relationship, happiness, and joy. You just have to decide what it is that you want. I'm sorry, this was here. Okay? Because the balance that you seek is in a new connection. It's not in this one. You may not want to hear this, but you need to. Okay? Wow. So before I close out this reading, Scorpio, I'm going to pull some romance angel cards. Yeah. It's like, why stay in a situation with someone that you don't trust? Like, I feel like you don't have the ability to change this relationship because it requires your partner to be a different person, not you to be a different person. So it's like, it doesn't matter what you do. You can't change it. All right. My heart goes out to you. But you know what? At the same time, on the other side of your pain is pleasure. There's a new beginning here with the Ace of Cups. You know what? Before I even go into this, I'm going to pull some cards to see this person. Who's this Ace of Cups? How will you recognize this person? Okay. How will Scorpio recognize this Ace of Cups? How is... Scorpio recognizes this Ace of Cups. <laughs> this card flipped all the way around. Show me who this Ace of Cups is. How would they recognize this person? This is... Okay. What I have here is the Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles reversed. You could be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. There's Earth energy here. There's also Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What Spirit is saying now is that you need to just rest because you're completely overwhelmed by this person who didn't, who doesn't see things through, who promises a lot, but they don't see, they don't put in the work. I have two cards that don't that of someone who's not putting in the work: Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Pentacles reversed. It's like Spirit is saying, you're just wasting your time with this person, okay? And there's a need for you to really rest. You need solitude. You need to regroup. You need to meditate. You need to find your peace and heal. Because with this, it's like, I, even if some of you, I'm hearing you need to drink more water. You need to rest. You're not, you're not hydrated enough. Um, this kind of anxiety can cause you to end up in a hospital, this kind of stress, okay? I'm here in hospitalization, like, the, you know, just going into the hospital and they're running all these tests and only to tell you that it's anxiety. Your blood pressure may be a little elevated because of the situation with this person. Okay, so first things first, Spirit wants to make that a priority because I was like, how would they, you know, how would you recognize this person? this ace of cups but spirit was like no first of all work on yourself rest heal first because the three of wands here this is moving forward like feeling free feeling confident feeling good about yourself and being happy with the outcome so there's a need for you to recover first like you need to take care of yourself heal and move forward Okay, because the person around you, they're not putting in the work. And with the two of wands reversed as the hidden energy, this is someone who, there's a fear of change here for you. You're indecisive, but at the same time, every time you speak to this person about the change that you desire, it doesn't go well. I'm getting failed negotiations. Like this person, like they, pump, you know, they, it leads to an argument, a conflict, drama, um, gaslighting, um, projecting onto you, but no real solution. It's just like they're just not willing to put in the work. Show me more with this Ace of Cups. Okay. Show me more in regards to this Ace of Cups. Can we see this new person? It's like the universe is protecting you. They just want you to recover first. Seven of Swords reverse. 
Why is this here? Why is the seven of swords in yours here? The, when you ask the cards questions, it, the cards will tell you what they want you to know. That's just how it works in tarot. Why is this seven of swords reverse here for Scorpio? Okay, I have a lot of air energy. You could be connected with the Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. The thing about it is, Spirit is not showing me any more about this new beginning, okay? Because there's a Seven of Swords reverse here, and there's a Two of Swords. Like, this person apologized about their deceit. Like, they confessed something to you. They conscious kicked in. They turned over a new leaf with you. So, because this person decided that they wanted to, to turn over a new leaf after the betrayal, or whatever they did in this connection, it's going to be different from all of you because this is a, co a collective. It has you stuck. You feel torn. The Two of Swords is about a stalemate. It's about sitting on a fence. It's trying to make a difficult, painful decision. And with that being said, it's like there's no new beginning. For as long as you're in this stuck energy, this new beginning is just like not going to happen. It's going to require you to detach from this connection and, and open up. <laughs> okay? That's what I'm getting. Right, you're like in a situation where you're trying to control it by not moving forward. But Spirit is like, no, nah, you need to spread your wings. You need to take a leap of faith. You're not going to meet your Ace of Cups or get your Ace of Cups if you don't release yourself from this connection. And you're not going to get it from this person. So the balance that you desire is being crowned by your fears. Your fears of moving on. Your fears of, well, what if it doesn't happen? What if I'm making a wrong decision? Only th all this thing, only thing that's happening with all these fears is just keeping you stuck. It's keeping you in stagnancy. But what you truly want is someone that reciprocates. Someone who values, values you the way you value them. And that is balance. But you're not going to get that until you close out this cycle. And you feel stuck because this person is like, oh, you know, I apologize for everything. And I'm different now. I'm going to change. And that, and that got you in this two of swords energy. So before I close out this reading, so this new beginning is not going to take place. It's, it's kind of off the table until you decide you want it. Wow, that's powerful. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some more magic angel cards for you, Scorpio. All right? Show me the messages for Scorpio in love. What does Scorpio need to see in love? What does Scorpio need to see? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yes, the divine is trying to, to nudge you into a direction of freedom. Okay? Spread your wings. But you're trying to control the situation by sitting in it. So it's like you're going to have to make the effort. If you want this new beginning, you're going to have to go towards it. And that means walking away from this connection. I'm sorry. But I'm not really sorry because I know ultimately if you decide to move forward, you're going to be ridiculously happy. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive all the highest energy of all. You have to believe that you deserve it and that there's something better and that it is safe. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Obviously, this is something that you can't do until you release yourself because you're not going to be flirting while you're in a relationship with someone else. Wedding, this situation involves marriage. Wow, that's why some of you can't move on because some of you are in fact married to this person. If you are in fact married to this person, I suggest that you seek legal advice. You speak to a therapist. You do everything you need to do. Please do not make your decision about what your next move is based on this tarot reading. Seek professional advice, please, okay? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, there's, there's signs all over the place. You know that this doesn't feel right. You do. You know you're not happy. You know you're not fulfilled. You know it doesn't feel right. You know this person crossed the line with you, but you, because of the history and the time that you invested, you still stay. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. The person, that ace of cups that's waiting for you, that's going to be a high level of commitment. That person is going to want... To a serious relationship with you. The engagement card is a serious relationship card with me. It's not just about getting a ring. It's just about someone who wants a higher level commitment with you. Somebody who's not going to be playing games about you. Like, they want everything. Okay? This is the, the type of relationship that you desire. Show me more, please. 
for Scorpio. This is the this is the one that you desire, but you're not getting from your current person. Past with life relationship, you have known each other before. Okay. Wow. So the person that you're going to be connecting with if you decide to move on is someone from a past life. You're gonna feel like you knew them forever. It's just gonna be so easy with this person. And like you're gonna feel like, damn, why does it feel like I've known you forever? True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Yeah. There's love on the, out on the other side of your pain. At the bottom of the deck, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I love this for you, Scorpio. I know it's hard to see because you're in love or you feel like you're in love with the person that you're with. But love, love is supposed to make you feel emotionally safe. Okay? And I know you don't feel that. All right? But there is love here, but it's going to require you to take a leap of faith. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you, Scorpio, for this reading. If it resonated, press the like button. And also, if you're interested in a personal reading, please click on the link in the description box below. I wish you this healing new love. I wish you healing first for yourself because, again, you have to heal yourself first. You need to sit with yourself, process your feelings, ground yourself, release this baggage from the past. And then once you decide to take that leap of faith, then watch how the universe does the rest. You have an ace of cups waiting for you, all right? So I wish you healing new love. I wish you light, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.